Introduced in 1973, the Red Queen Hypothesis is a concept in evolutionary biology that postulates a continuous cycle of adaptation, evolution, and expansion in species to ensure their survival against their constantly evolving counterpart. The hypothesis was originally devised to clarify the consistent probability of extinction, indifferent to age, observable in the fossil record, attributable to the coevolution among competitive species. Moreover, it is inferred that the Red Queen hypothesis also sheds light on why sexual reproduction is beneficial at the individual level and why there is a direct correlation between the rate of species multiplication and annihilation in the majority of higher taxa. In 1973, Leigh Van Valen presented this theory to elaborate on Van Valen's law, a hypothesis which states that extinction odds remain constant across millions of years and do not depend on the lifespan of a species or higher rank taxon. However, the odds of extinction are closely tied to adaptive zones. As varied taxa have different extinction probabilities essentially, a species' extinction is randomized in terms of age, but is ecologically non-random. Combined, these two observations indicate a homogeneous group of organisms faces a continuously deteriorating environment Van Valen inferred that this is due to a zero-sum evolutionary game powered by interspecies competition. Any single species evolutionary advancement leads to a decline in the fitness of other coexisting species, however, because all species are continuously evolving. None of them gain a long-term fitness advantage. Thus, the overall fitness of the system remains constant. The term Red Queen was chosen because it portrays the idea that species must run or continuously evolve to maintain their status quo or face extinction. This concept is borrowed from Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass, which pictures the Red Queen's explanation of Looking Glass Land's nature to Alice. To stay in the same place requires all the running you can do. Moreover, fossil records show a positive correlation between high speciation rates and high extinction rates across most major taxes. Various ecological factors can explain this correlation but it might also be rooted in a Red Queen scenario where each speciation event in a group weakens the fitness of the other coexisting species in the group. Discussions about the evolution of sex are not part of Van Valen's Red Queen hypothesis, which considers evolution above the species level. The more microevolutionary version of the Red Queen hypothesis was advanced by Bell, 1982, who, like Van Valen, drew from Lewis Carroll's work but did not specifically credit Van Valen. In his 1993 publication, The Red Queen, science author Matt Ridley introduced the term in relation to sexual selection. The book explored theoretical biology debates surrounding the advantages of sexual reproduction for certain species. The relevant discussion pertained to the Red Queen hypothesis, emphasizing that these benefits are not necessarily measured at the species or group level, as suggested by the traditionally acknowledged Vicar of Bray theory, but rather at the gene level. This hypothesis argues that such species are engaged in a continuous competitive battle with parasites, favoring the preservation of presently disadvantageous genes that may become beneficial in future parasitic populations. The utilitarian role of sexual reproduction in this context became more apparent through the supporting evidence found in allelic impacts during sexual selection. Deeper understanding of the Red Queen hypothesis illuminates why allelic recombination is beneficial to populations engaging in aggressive biotic interactions like predator, prey, or host parasite dynamics. In host parasite scenarios, sexual reproduction can expedite the creation of novel multi locus genotypes, enabling the hosts to evade adapted parasites from previous generations. The benefits of recombination through sexual reproduction are further explained through models representing mutation effects. The mutational deterministic hypothesis posits that sexual reproduction provides an advantage over asexual reproduction by allowing for rapid and effective elimination of harmful mutations especially when these mutations lead to a significant decline in organismal fitness. Sexual reproduction, however, demands resources for mate finding and usually requires one gender, typically the female, typically the female, to contribute more towards offspring survival. The only evolutionary advantage in such scenarios seems to come from the phenomena of sexual selection that facilitates continuous genotype improvement support for this theory can be traced back to the relatively quicker molecular evolution rate of immune system proteins as compared to other proteins. 
Further support for the Red Queen hypothesis comes from studying the long-term dynamics and parasite coevolution in a mixed sexual and asexual population of snail. The study noted that initially abundant clones became more prone to parasite infections over time, and subsequently, their population considerably declined in some instances. Certain types of clones disappeared completely, while sexually reproductive snails maintain a more consistent population. Size over time. The Red Queen theory is a fascinating concept used to explain the evolution of aging, proposing that aging is a natural selection process that aids in adaptability to ever-changing conditions. This has significant implications in the struggle for survival against pathogens, predators, and prey. The concept draws inspiration from Aesop's fable phrase, the rabbit runs faster than the fox because the rabbit is running for his life while the fox is only running for his dinner. In the world of microbes, such predator, prey dynamics exist, as seen between species like Imidxanthus, predator, and E. coli, prey. This phenomenon leads to a mutual evolution, with both species developing genetics and traits that provide better adaptation, fostering an arms race that only ends with the extinction of one species. An intriguing real-world example of this eternal pursuit is seen between parasite wasps and insect larvae, a relationship vital for the survival of the former, the Campylidus sonorensis wasp, for instance, employs ingenious evolutionary strategies to combat the immune systems of its host, the Heliothus varescens larvae. Contrary to the Red Queen hypothesis is the court jester hypothesis, which posits that abiotic factors drive large-scale evolution, not the arms race. The Black Queen hypothesis, another significant theory of reductive evolution, postulates that natural selection may lead organisms to trim their genome size. It suggests that essential genes may become non-vital for an organism if its community expresses that gene leaky. The author of the Red Queen theory, Van Valen, had initially submitted his paper to the Journal of Theoretical Biology. After finding the terms unfavorable, he founded his own journal, Evolutionary Theory, where he published his manuscript. Despite multiple rejections, as he playfully noted in his acknowledgments, he thanked the National Science Foundation for forcing him to focus on theoretical work instead of real organisms. 